There was pomp, circumstance, and prayer at tonight's graduation ceremony at Medina Valley High School in Castroville. This after a federal appeals panel yesterday ruled that a judge was wrong to bar public prayers from today's graduation ceremony. News 4 WOAI's Melissa Vega live from Castroville where the small town is reacting to making national headlines. Well, that's right, Christina. This is definitely one of the most talked about graduation ceremonies. And as you can see behind me, the ceremony is still going on as we speak. But despite all of the controversy, everything is running smoothly as over 230 Medina Valley High School seniors are receiving their diplomas. It was all pomp and circumstance. Family and friends cheered. As Medina Valley High School seniors marched their way into their football stadium for their monumental moment. They're excited, we're excited, our families are excited. All eyes were on valedictorian Angela Hildenbrand as she sang the national anthem. Moments later, another graduate recited an opening prayer. Amen. Amen. Then the moment the valedictorian had been waiting for, her speech where she thanked God. Thank you just so much for the freedom to be here today. And most of all, I thank you for loving us first. Oh, I'm, I'm all for her that she took the stand in what she believed in, as many people are scared to do. But I'm glad that she's able to say what she wants to say. You know, she can uh, express her, her thoughts, I guess. Despite the prayer controversy, many displayed their support tonight from the writing on their vehicles. I will pray and honk if you love Jesus. Some even holding signs. I'm glad everything went through and amen. So in the end, prayer was definitely a big part of tonight's graduation ceremony. We our separate ways and I can't wait to see where you'll be leading each of us. I ask that you ask us all now, between 8 and 10,000 people were originally expected at tonight's ceremony. The district says around five or 6,000 people are actually in attendance tonight. There were no protesters. However, additional law enforcement officers were added here at tonight's graduation ceremony just as a precaution. Again, everything is running smoothly. We're live in Casterville tonight. Melissa Vega, News 4, WOAI. Thanks so much, Melissa. Well, the family who filed the lawsuit to ban prayer at tonight's graduation ceremony did not attend tonight. The Schultz family emailed us the following statement. Quote, our family chose not to attend the ceremony this evening because we did not feel welcome at the event, and we even feared for our safety in light of how hostile some of the public comments have been. In addition, school officials released the name of our minor son to the media, almost ensuring that he will be a target for abuse. Graduation is a significant rite of passage for a young person and we regret that our son will not be able to enjoy this special day with his peers. The Schultz say they only went to court as a last resort and that they've been trying for the past three years to persuade the district to craft a more inclusive graduation program to no avail.